Uh, anyone who's been to an investor summit um, has probably heard me harp on a few things. Uh, three three main things, right? Engage the right team, mm-hmm. right? Whether it's realtors, whether it's mortgage brokers, whether it's insurance providers, accountants, lawyers, get people who know real estate because. I'll use lawyers, for example, we're like doctors. Everyone has their little specialty. Mm -hmm. You do not go to a doctor who's a ear, nose and throat guy when you have a problem with your foot. Right. Okay. Any lawyer can't necessarily advise you on, on these types of things. It's the same thing with all those other professionals that I just talked to you about. Okay. Um, Number two, when you are going for lending, full disclosure to the lender. If you are not telling them something critical, that is fraud. Okay. Yeah. And I, I've had a situation this year where someone defaulted because they couldn't get financing because a lender found out about something that they didn't tell them and they got sued for 50 grand. Okay. Wow. Nobody wants to deal with that. And the same thing is, you know, you know, don't rush into a deal that you're not comfortable with or you're not familiar with. I've seen a lot of people do that. Yeah. I've seen a lot of people do that. They didn't get the right advice. Mm-hmm. Right. Or they're like, oh, I got to jump on this because of this opportunity. You're better in the long run for patience, right? Do your due diligence on it. Consult the right people. Make sure you're making a good, sound decision because you you do stand to lose quite a bit. Thank you. I love how much value you brought us. You for one tip, you gave us three. So thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. I felt like I was not talking a lot. (laughs) You're you're caught up now. Yeah, you're caught up now. I have reached my quota. I actually don't talk. I loved how you said I didn't talk much, and then you look over at Simeon. <laughs> it's all right. Go ahead. Simeon, your tip, brother. Uh, I'm talk gonna, longer. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stick to the exact same thing uh, earlier. We have an audience of over 500 uh, people, uh, 200 in this room, and uh, the hundreds online. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to just reinforce, use your time wisely, grow your network. Please understand that we have been at this for almost 15 years together and uh, and on our own before then. So we have a lot of experience and we have a very different comfort level than some people in this room may. So do your due diligence, network carefully and grow your teams. Grow your teams. Me, I get the last word. I love that. Um, <laughs> After doing now, coming up to 80 episodes of the podcast, I would somewhat be an idiot if I didn't pick up on some patterns. And uh, I've, I've sat with the likes of Michael Saracini, Scott McGilvery, uh, a couple of the uh, Key Spire uh, coaches as well, investors. We had one uh, episode with uh, Sue Murphy, he, Sue Murphy, who went from zero to 11 properties in two years, uh, an episode with three inspiring ladies who did about five, six properties and investments uh, within like a year and a half, and I never met their husbands. And so they did it all by themselves. Uh, Um, And the pattern that I picked up on is taking a leap of faith, especially in real estate, because you can you can take action and just hold on to the property and do due diligence within that time period. So, for example, you could do a rent to own and it's conditional. You can make it conditional on anything, really, whatever the seller agrees on. But if you make it conditional on financing or home inspection, you tie up the property and then do the due diligence. Because where I've found a lot of investors make mistakes is sit and think about it, but then, then the opportunity goes by them. In real estate, hold up the property, tie it up, and then do the due diligence. Just make sure it's in the contract and we leave that to Kyle. He'll figure all that stuff out. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching and listening. Please, please take a second right now to subscribe and follow us on whatever podcast platform you're watching or listening. It means the world to me. Thank you.